welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my week one check-in for the month of November. If you have missed my budget setup for the month, then I'll leave it in the cards up above so you can check that out. But let's get started to tracking our expenses. We have quite a lot and we always do at the start of the month. So we're just going to start here on the first and I'm going to zoom you in just so you can see it nice and good. So we have paid our rent and we had one expense on the first and that was actually myself for my Little Thought Store subscription box. So we take this here and we're just gonna write LTS for Little Thought Store. And that was for £28.50. So that always comes out in the first of the month. So I do like to grab it because she only makes um, a certain amount of boxes. So if you would like to grab one of her boxes, then make sure that you are ready on the 1st of December. So that's the first expense. Moving on to the second, we paid our council tax. And we had two expenses here. We had a food expense and another um, allowance one. So I'm just trying to find my food. Now let's, I really need to make my little key because I always forget. Yeah, so purple is for food. So we had Aldi on the second it was actually my dad that went for us which was super sweet of him since we were self self isolating then and it was only 40 pounds in aldi so we did really well there and then we did put some money from 100 pounds for me and 100 pounds from thomas towards some of our debt going to be doing a debt snowball video and um, i've just not filmed that yet but we did pay towards our debt and that was £200 so like I said £100 each and both of those expenses were on the second so I'm just going to pop it down I hope it doesn't cover up my little day off sticker I think it will a little bit yeah, oh, I hate that, that it covers it, but oh well, so we've got those two. Next, moving on to the third, we had one expense. We did pay our electric one expense, and again, it was me. I actually bought something from CG Plans. It is a new shop to me, so you can let me know down in the comment section if you've ever ordered from her. She is a UK-based sticker company, and I thought I would try out her monthly views. Since I said in my last video that I was thinking of doing two monthly views um, starting in the new year, so one for things like days off, um, any events, and then using this another monthly view just for my budget because then I won't have the problem of things getting cut off with all of my budgeting expenses. So you can let me know if you think that's a good idea if you do it and if that helps. So that was for £7.27. On the 4th, we had one expense and it was an eating out expense. We ended up getting some ice cream and sweets. We kind of had a little cheat day. It was so good though. I got a flake sundae with white chocolate sauce. It was amazing. So that was £18. I don't actually think we have, do we have any no spendies? <laughs> uh, this is obviously when we were stuck at home, so I think we just spent a lot of money. Wait until you see my sinking funds video because you'll see how much we actually spent. So we've got that on the 4th. Let's flip over to the 5th. And we do have one expense on the 5th. And that was for cans from Farm Foods. Thomas 
went this day he went back to work um, and he got three kind of crates of cans and it was three for £21. So that's what he picked up. We were running low on juice and he just thought he would get that because he knows how much I love Diet Coke, which is so sweet of him. He is amazing. Let's so got that down there. Perfect. Next we have few on the six. So for food we have Tesco's. We ended up having to pick up a few things since it was near the end of the week. So that was for £6.95. And we did also get a Chinese this day. And that was for fourteen thirty. And also, Thomas sent me some money. Um, I wanted to buy the Revolution Advent Calendar. I saw it was down to half price in Superdrug. So it was down from £120 to 60 And he said he would give me half the money. Um, he, oh, we always, I always seem to get a big Advent Calendar. And he likes to open it with me <laughs> just to see what I got. So he decided to give me half the money which is so sweet of him. Um, if you've not noticed by some of my videos, Thomas doesn't really spend a lot of money on himself. He doesn't like, he's not the third person to do that. So he's always kind of buying me things and it's so sweet, but I'm always like trying to give him money back. <laughs> um, but I'm currently buying all of his Christmas presents. So hopefully that will make up for it. So we've got, those three in and last but not least we have my expense for the other half of the calendar and i also bought some makeup so i'm just going to put super drug i'm not going to put a little label for my nails since i do have it in there i just know that i paid money towards my nails that day and it was 20 pounds so i've got that as well so Superdrug was £41. Perfect. And that should just fit nicely here. Perfect, so that is all of our expenses for this week. We had no no spend days, which isn't the best, but hey-ho. Uh, also paid my phone. I'm going to tick that off as well. So let's get on to our weekly check-in, which is the 1st until the 7th. So we're going to write down all of our categories. So our first one is petrol. We have food, we have both myself and Thomas's allowance, so I like to just split it up. Then we have eating out, household. and unbudgeted. Okay, so starting with petrol, we had no expenses. So we spent zero. In petrol, we have 90 pounds remaining. And there is three weeks left, so that leaves £30 per week. Which should be fine for us. Moving on to food. So we had Aldi for £40. Then we had the cans. 
for 21 and Tesco's for 6 .95. All together that comes to £67.95, which is not bad for a week. And with a budget of 280, that leaves us with £212.05. And like I said, there is three weekends left, so that leaves us with £70, £70 per week, which is more than doable for us. Perfect, so moving on to Thomas, we had the £30 that he gave me towards my calendar. And then we also had the £100 for debt. I'm going to wait and take that off when I get to me. So altogether, he spent £130. And he had a budget of 200, so he still has 70 pounds remaining. And we don't do remaining per week for that. Moving on to me, we had super drug for 41. We had my nails for 20. We had CG plans, 100 pounds of debt, and the little thoughts store. So I spent quite a lot this week. So altogether I spent a total of £196.77 and I have a budget of 300 taking into account my sticker contribution. So I am left with £103.23. So not too bad. I always seem to spend a lot the first week. Moving along to eating out, we have ice cream for 18 and then the Chinese for 14.30. So altogether we spent £32.30. This is one category that I upped this month because we always seem to go over it. So we're really trying to be quite mindful about our eating out and how much we spend. So I budgeted 130 so we still have... £97 and 70 pence and per week that is £32.60 so if we have every week the same as kind of this week then we should be okay. Household we spent nothing and um, our household money will probably spend during this week we're going Christmas decoration shopping I'm so excited I would have my tree up just now actually comment down below in the comment section do you have your Christmas tree up yet I know some people were doing that so we'd set a budget for a hundred pounds so we still have that remaining and unbudgeted we spent nothing which is super so that is that for our weekly check-in we're not in the red yet we still have quite a bit of money left but that is only the first week we flip over here and to see that we did put £600 in our sinking funds. It's going to do that. I'm still not paid my Nana's birthday, so I'll leave that just there. That's the only one I had to change. So let me zoom you out and I'll show you how our monthly view is looking with our first week done. So this is how it's looking. As you can see, lots of expenses. I'm going to try and not spend as much in the next coming weeks. But this is how our month of view is looking. And then we have our budget and our weekly check-in on two pages. But that is that for this video and for our first weekly check-in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment any thoughts and opinions you have down below. And if you're brand new here, please consider subscribing and sticking around for more budgeting videos like this one. But that's all for this video, guys. I'll see you on my next one. Have a magical day. Bye.